let's do this. This is Banjo Kazooie. I'm sure most of you know this game, so I'm going to assume that people watching this have already played it, because I don't want to explain everything. Let's start. This was probably one of my favorite games as a child. One of the uh, earlier games I remember. And one of the few games that I was able to get 100% completion on, which is what I'll be doing here. 100% completion, and I'll, I'll even be showing you guys the bonus of, uh, since this is on the Xbox 360, uh, Stop and Swap has been reinstated. So I'll be able to show you those little bonuses. Lovely. Yeah, the 360 version, the, uh, updated the graphics, and, uh, obviously remastered the controls for a 360 controller. And all that stuff. So, yeah. The only real problem I have is, as you can see right there, the, uh, the video and audio are a little bit desynchronized. Especially, it's, like, blatantly obvious in Banjo 2 e since the intro cutscene is, like, three times longer. And, uh, you end up watching, like, the last, uh, we basically, the audio just really poorly synced with the video for some reason when they redid it. See, there's a pause there, so I could sync the music better. I'm not sure if it's just laziness or if they didn't realize until it was too late, or that should be, that should be something they, should, they can patch. I wonder why they haven't done that. Anywho, you know, I always wondered, didn't Benjamin because we ever look up and see Grunty's big head um, sitting on the mountain, wonder what's up with that. I don't know. So, yeah. Judy wants to go on an adventure. Yeah, but, uh, the 360 port is pretty good. Other than the, these little problems, they did a good job with it. I don't have a lot to say for this intro cutscene because I've seen it so many times. And this is actually one of the. This is actually um, the game that I think my dad played the most. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch him play it all the time. Actually, I think he beat it before I did, which is for one of the first games, I, as far as I know, that... Well, maybe not, I don't know. At that time, that's when I was starting to blossom as a, a pretty good gamer. And, uh... Yeah. Yes, we know what's going on. Grunty is not just 2D, you have to go save her. And Benjo's lazy brother. Reminds me of myself. I'm definitely a night owl. Yes, so... Our adventure begins. Almost. You can probably already see some of the graphical changes to the game. Even though it's basically the same. I'm Banjo, and this is, here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure, a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can you talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntella swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky, we'll get her back. Where'd she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training. Okay, for this, if you get, decide to get the Xbox version, I would highly recommend, uh, if you played the N64 version and you're getting the Xbox version, I would accept training, but I've played this through this game before, so I know all the moves. But because they had to remap the controller, remap the controls for the 360 controller, it helps to learn the moves like that. Oh yeah, I don't have that move yet. So we're just gonna, before we head up there, there are uh, six empty honeycomb pieces, which if you play before you'll know, uh, Six of them gives you another unit of health, so you want to collect all six before you go. One's right here. As he explains right here. 
So I'm not going to explain a whole lot because usually when you pick up an item or learn a move, it'll be explained to you. Let's see, there's another one over here. You know, for some reason, maybe just because I was young when I played this, but I accepted the... Oops. I accepted the fact that they're um, giant jumping carrots and onions, or is it garlic? It looks like onion to me. Um, just jumping around the place. Like, this is totally natural everyday occurrence. I never really thought of it as weird until I watched Skullboy play this game and he thought it was. And he was kind of. I think it was strange. We got the new shiny extra life. We won't be needing any of those. Well, maybe, maybe we will. There's one Jiggy in this game that I'm really dreading. I'll see here. Another nice thing about this is, uh. I have much better, uh. Field of Vision, I think it's called, where you can see a lot farther, like, you could, than you could in the uh, N64. It's like, on the N64, you wouldn't be able to see those, uh, those rock enemies over there. And let's see, we're much closer. Yeah, that's the only thing I'll really be explaining, for the most part, will be the changes from the N64 version to the 360 version, aside from the obvious, uh, visual changes. Yeah. So, there's another one. Over here, I believe this is number four we're going for. I lost count already. Not really paying attention. Derp. Yeah, so we have four, and there's uh, one that the enemy is holding. Not you. One that's up here, this guy's. The uh, Kaliwobble is his name. Has it? Thank you. And the last one's underwater. I've played this game so many times, so it'll probably look. It's not. I'm not it's not gonna be like a speedrun where I'm using uh, glitches and uh, just in speedrun tactics to get through as fast as possible. But this will be 100% run from memory. I won't be looking anything up. And there we go. Six uh, empty honeycomb pieces gives you another unit of health. Um, and this will be 100% based on uh, what you see in the. Uh, View totals option. I'm not going to bother uh, collecting anything. I'm not going to do the. Uh, well, that and the stop and swap. I'm not going to be doing the uh, bottles bonus, which some of you may know. I'll show you guys later in case you don't know, but that's not a requirement and I could never do that. It's ridiculous. Is it ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are. Just the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Grantel's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. So we go across. Nom nom nom. This never used to make sense to me as a, as a kid. It looks like, I mean, she's got 2D in the machine, and I'm like, why does she just use the machine right the second? But apparently it takes a while to charge. Kind of like in the first game where they, or in Banjo 2, I mean, where they explain it'll take several hours to charge their Bigo Blaster, which. We're not playing Banjo Tooie, so I'm not going to go into detail. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, though. This is a really popular game. Power is on, soon be ready. Yeah, laugh it up, Grunty. We're coming for you. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Gadgy. Oh, yeah. So obviously, Jiggy's. I'm not explaining it. I'm I tried to record this like on th three other occasions, and I kept catching myself explaining things, and it was getting boring. And I didn't really like my uh, commentary at all, so I kept, kept redoing it, and I kept explaining stuff. Yeah, so. Jiggy opens worlds. Blah blah blah, we know. Yeah, yeah. It's time to go to Mumbo's Mountain. That was such an easy fit. 
the others may just test your wit. <laughs>